Welcome to Physics Can Be Fun with me, Stephen Thomas. We're going to have a little fun today with this little radio-controlled car. We're going to work our changes in momentum to this car. I'm going to switch it on here. Here is the little remote for it. I'm going to switch it on there. We can press forward, we can press back, just notice these little LEDs that come on to show going forward, going back, and we're going to, as I say, work out the changes in momentum to this little radio controlled car. Now we need to know the mass of the car, so let's weigh it on a spring balance. And the mass is 0.25 kilograms, or 250 grams. So now we know the mass of our radio-controlled car. The next thing we want to find out is its maximum speed going forward. So we're going to put it on this track here. We have, as you can see, a piece of string attached to it. And here is our velocimeter. We're going to switch on the battery box. We're going to when the car goes forward, with our computer switched on, it is going to measure the maximum forward velocity before our car hits the towel at the end of the runway. So let's switch our computer on. And we're going to press our car, the remote, and get the car to roll down the track as fast as possible. Naught point one point four seven zero one point four seven zero is what our computer is registering. One point four seven zero. Okay, to write that on the board. One point four seven zero meters per second. The mass of the car was naught point two five kilograms. Let's bring our car back by pre pressing reverse. And now we're going to work out the maximum velocity of our car going backwards. So here is the little piece of polystyrene which the car drags and as it drags it cuts two photo light beams and that is what measures the speed of the car when it's going at its maximum. So here's the car it's now in reverse. We're going to restart our computer. And let's see the maximum reverse speed. Computer starts zero, one. Point five three eight. 1538. 1 Let's write that as well. Five 
1.538 meters per second. Now we're going to ask you to do some work. We don't need the velocity meter anymore. Now we're going to ask you to calculate the change in momentum of this radio control from the time it starts to the time it's going flat out, maximum speed, and we worked that out as 1.470 meters per second. What will the change of momentum be? And bear in mind that momentum is a vector quantity. Can you work it out? Let's show you the problem. Cars starting at naught, what would its momentum be initially? It's a very easy question. And now let's get it going maximum. So what was the change of momentum just before it hit at the end there when it was going at its maximum velocity. Now that's problem number one, naught to V forward max. I'm going to bring the car back. I think the string is wrapped around the wheel. Right, here comes problem number two. I want you to calculate the momentum from the time it reaches its top speed near the end there to the change of momentum from when it's again to your right at top speed till when it comes back at top speed. Let's try and show you the problem. So we're going to take it from now when it's going top speed to now when it's going top speed backwards. So maybe it didn't go totally as fast as we'd liked. Let's try that again. Take the change of momentum from now when it's going top speed to well imagine that it was going top speed backwards. Okay, there are your very easy 